a group of thirsty Scottish builders in Bridge of Allen. They love their tea, but today the One Show has a surprise for them. It won't be Jasmine, Darjeeling, Assam, and certainly not English breakfast for these lads. We are a nation of tea lovers. We guzzle 165 million cups of tea every day. As you'd expect, most comes from India, China and Sri Lanka. These are the three biggest producers of tea in the world. Surprisingly, here in not-so-sunny Scotland, we are now producing our very own home brew. The Wee Tea Company have become the first ever plantation in the country. Expert tea grower Tam O'Bran believes Scotland is a prime spot to cultivate the tea plants. When I first heard that I was visiting a tea plantation, I did think, um, are they crazy? Yeah. I mean, are you mad to be doing this? Well, if you go to some of the areas of the Himalayas that grow tea, it's also very, very wet. Now, with that and the low-lying cloud, the only thing we're missing is a lot of sunshine. And strangely enough, if you're trying to develop a fine tea, you don't want overly photosynthesized leaves. You'd like leaves which are lighter in colour. So not a lot of sunshine is fine, as long as you can hardly the plant up so it survives. Well, you're definitely in the perfect place then for not a lot of sunshine. Here, there's a beautiful bush that's just giving us the tips of the tea. From this, we'll make white tea, or the one of the finest teas in the world. So the so smaller the leaf, the more... More delicate the, the flavour. more delicate the flavour. Are you hoping to export this and for the Chinese to be drinking Scottish homebrew? We've got a lot of people interested. The British know a lot about tea. We know the flavour of it. We understand what's in the cup. OK, I've done zero work. Shall I go and do some now? Indeed. This right. is your basket. Thank you, sir. Can Let's join do the team. <laughs> Growing the tea here is only half of the process. The next stage, brewing, is where the tea comes to life. Okay, Jamie. The